Hey guys, this is Joe from joecolantono.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate HP's diagnostics with LoadRunner in order to monitor J2E metrics from an Apache server. So this really is going to be a four-step process. First step is we're going to install the diagnostic server. They also call it the diagnostic commander. The second step is to go to our Apache server and we're going to install this Java agent. And the Java agent is going to allow us to get some parameters that we're going to place within our Apache server so when the Apache server starts up the agent is then able to monitor whatever J2E metric that you're interested in. So once that agent set up it's going to then point to our diagnostic server and it's going to feed all its metrics to the server. So the third step is we need to install a load runner add-in in order to allow it to be able to speak with the diagnostic commander. So once LoadRunner is pointing to the diagnostic server, all the agent's metrics can then be captured within the LoadRunner scenario when you're running a performance test. First, let's go to the diagnostic software page and you want to download the diagnostic software and also the diagnostic profiler for J2E. Okay, so let's stop the install. So I'm just going to accept the license agreement. Your install might be a little different from mine. This is what I had to do. And I'm going to use commander mode because I'm only using one diagnostic server. If you had multiple, you'd have to use mediator mode. And I don't have an NTP server, so I'm going to synchronize with the system time. I'm not using SAS or BSM. Awesome. Finished. Okay, great. So now underneath programs, you should have a folder called HP Diagnostic Server. Uh, just click on Start HP Diagnostic Server. And let's just check the health of the server just to make sure the install happened without any issues. So if you navigate to this URL and you include your server name, HP has a, a tool for a health check. So when you look at the health check, you can see the status of the server after the install. Mine is showing up and it's showing up as a, in green. So I know it's a good status that was installed correctly. There was no issues. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Java probe on the Apache server and then point it to my diagnostic server that I just installed. Great. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hop on our Apache server and we're going to install the Java probe. And it's pretty much a straightforward install. We're just going to take all the defaults. So we're going to accept the license, take the default path, click next. So once it's installed, it's going to bring up the setup module. And in the first section, we're going to select configure the Java agent to work with our diagnostic server. So, and so next, we're going to give the Java agent a name that makes sense to us. This is the name that's going to show up when we look at the server, and we'll see that later. For the diagnostic server name, that's where you put the actual name of your diagnostic server that you installed earlier. So you, you can either use the, the name, the full name, or an IP address and just take the default port and I'm not using any of the other additional options. So once you have your Java agent installed and pointing to your HP diagnostic server, uh, the last piece you need to do is set up the HP diagnostics uh, JRE instrumenter. It's used by your application to make monitoring by the diagnostic server possible. So basically you're just going to point it to the current version of Java that you're using on your, on your application server. what it's going to do, it's going to create some parameters that you're going to then copy and you're going to place them into the your Apache service startup. So to activate the diagnostic agent, this is the parameter you would use. And so once you have those parameters, you're basically going to go into Apache and you're just going to enter them into the Java section. And so under the Java options is where you place the parameters. And when you restart the Apache service, the Java agent should now be communicating with your diagnostic server. Okay, so once the Java probe is installed on the Apache server, what you want to do is go back to the URL for the health check and verify that the agent now is showing up 
in the health check and showing up as in a good status. So in my setup, when I so in my setup, when I look at the health check, I notice that my notice that my diagnostic server is still good, and that the agent that I installed now pointing to my HP diagnostic server, and that it's also in a good status. Now, if the agent's not showing up as active in the diagnostic or not showing up at all, when I first installed it, it wasn't showing up correctly, and I'm not sure if it was just because um, the server, the OS system I'm using is Windows 2008 R2. So there are a few extra steps I had to do to get my agent working to show up in the health check. I had to go into the control panel on my Apache server, which is the Windows 2008 R2 OS, and click on Allow Program or Feature Through Windows Firewall. I then had to find the service for the agent called M Agent Service, and I just checked everything next to that service. And I also had to go to my Windows Firewall and go on to Inbound Rules. I created a new rule and for the created one called HP Diagnostic Port 2006 and allowed it to communicate on 2006. So after doing all that, when I went back to the health check, it did show up now as in a green status, which is good. Okay, so now that we have the HP Diagnostic server set up and we also have the Java agent installed on the Apache server, the next piece is to install the Load Runner add-in. And the Load Runner add-in setup.exe can be found underneath, can be found under the diagnostic CD or directory called LR add-in. If you double click on LR add-in, there'll be a setup.exe. Run that on your Load Runner machine, and that will install the Load Runner add-in needed for the diagnostic piece. Now, once that's installed on the Load Runner machine, you need to go into Load Runner and configure Load Runner to point now to your diagnostic server. So on your Load Runner machine, you want to go into Programs, HP Load Runner, and just click on the Load Runner option from the menu item. Once that starts, you want to click on Configure, and from the Configure, you want to select Diagnostic for J2E.NET Setup. This will bring up your HP Diagnostic for J2E.NET Setup dialog box, and this is where you need to specify the either the server name or the IP address for your diagnostic server. And you also want to put in the port, the login name, and password. And you can also test to make sure the connection is working. Awesome, we're almost done. So we've installed the diagnostic server, we've installed the Java agent, we've installed the load runner add-in, and we've configured load runner to point to our diagnostic server and the last piece is to when you're running a scenario so you create a scenario in load runner you actually need to now point to what java probes you want to include in your test run so in your load runner control you want to click on diagnostics click on configure and the diagnostic distribution dialog box is going to come up the last option is online and offline diagnostics to the right of J2E Diagnostics, click on the Configure button. And once that Configure button is clicked, you'll get an option for which Java probes you want to include in, in your test. So you need to first click on Enable J2E for .NET Diagnostics, and then you click on which probe you want to include in your scenario. And click OK. And finally, once you've done all those steps in the controller, when you you'll see another tab called Diagnostic for J2E. If you click on that, you'll now see all the different options you have for the J2E.NET probe that you've installed. And that's how you install HP Diagnostics and integrate it with Load Runner.